And now it's time for the Viennese Waltz. A very personal and individual start to the Viennese Waltz by the German couple here, using the music to the fullest. Now the Viennese Waltz has very limited quantity of figures which can be danced during the couple's performance, which gives the adjudicators a fantastic possibility to actually clearly compare the couples. They can see the difference in the quality of movement, the body flight, the usage of the music, but at the same time we also get to see the couple's individual interpretation of the dance. And couple number 28 from Germany, Benedetto Frugia and Claudia Kerler, showing us a very musical performance here. Couple number 57 from Russia, Sergei Konovaltsev and Olga Konovaltseva. Now, as you watch the lady's head as she dances into the reverse turn, you'll see she has a rather unique head movement. This is an individual action which is uh, personal to this couple. Couples number 20 and 29 dancing a natural turn at the same time. You can see that the Danish couple number 20 uses a much more compression of the knees, where couple number 29 moves more across the floor. Two different approaches to the same dance. And ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of the finals in the Beanie's Waltz. And now it's the final in Slow Foxtrot. The slow foxtrot is often referred to as the Rolls Royce of dances. This is because it's considered to be the most technical of the dances and the hardest to perform correct musically. You can see the strength of the footwork, the power of the standing legs being used to move across the floor, and all this has to be formed in rhythm with the music. Couple number 29, Simone Segatore and Annette Sudol. The second German couple having qualified for this evening's final. And I'm sure this couple will be looking to place among the top three of the results later. And couple number 57 from Russia, Sergei Konovaltsev and Olga Konovaltseva. And ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the semi-final in the slow foxtrot. And now we move on to the solo performances in the quick step. And the first couple to come onto the floor to perform solo are couple number 29 from Germany, Simone Segatori and Vanessa Dolly. And good grief, the German couple have fallen onto the floor in the solo performance. Now, as I pointed out earlier in the semi-final, several of the couples looked to be having problems with their balance, and I wasn't quite sure if it was a technical problem or whether it was because of the floor. Given the technical level of these couples in the final, I'd more than likely assume that there is a problem with the floor. Maybe it's a little bit too slippy out there in the final.
As at any world-class competition, the organization wants to prepare the best floor surface for the dancers. But sometimes things don't go according to plan and the floor does become over-polished. And that can become a safety issue for the dancers. You never know when you put the foot what's going to happen and of course we heard a lot of injured already. Yeah. This is the only down part I think that you are more afraid to be injured than uh, maybe to fall. You can fall of course but that if you get injured that is bad. Oh, it's a shame to see couples falling and maybe uh, they have to stop for certain months because they have bad injuries so of course it's not very good for them. So we are not happy for this reason of course because we are also competitors and of course if they have injuries this is not very good in your competitive career. I know this floor since many competitions, a great floor, good wooden floor and not slippy. But today, I don't know, I have to investigate if uh, yesterday maybe with good, uh, in good will, but maybe they, they put some spray on this. And that's why we had so many accidents today. I'm very sorry about this and uh, I need to investigate this. Yeah. Second couple to perform their solo performance in quick step, couple number 20, Emmanuel Valeri and Tanya Kerlis from Denmark. And that rounds off the solo performance in quick step by the Danish couple. The third couple to perform solo are from Germany. Couple number 28, Benedetto Ferruglia and Claudia Gerla. And that concludes the quick step from the German couple. The next couple to perform their solo quick step are from Poland. Couple number 51, Marek Kosciaste and Paulina Glasy.
the Polish couple dancing to the end of their solo performance.